Oh, good. You ate it. Did you like it? You look like you'll be well enough to go outside soon. That kid's not here today? Xion? She went to pick flowers. Oh. You mind if I ask you something? I'll do my best to answer. Why did you save me? I'm your enemy. I guess you are, but that has nothing to do with me. I just wanted to save you. I didn't care about anything else. That doesn't make sense. I came to this planet to dispose of you realians. You could be executed for saving me. All that mattered to me was saving you. I don't understand that at all. Is it really that strange to want to save someone's life? I've been ordered to kill realians. To a soldier, orders are absolute. There's nothing more important than life. Isn't that true for both soldiers and realians? I want you to live. And because of it, we are here, together. Why don't you get some sleep? You need to regain your strength. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. The food was delicious. I'm glad you liked it. Well, I'm impressed they can grow in a place like this. Guess they haven't died yet. No, they won't die. I water them every single day, and give them fertilizer. Oh, I see. Well, there's no guarantee that they won't die in the future. I don't understand it. Why did you want to plant them here? You could have planted them in the flower bed in the rear garden. Because that's too far away from Mom's room. This is closer to her room, and that way Daddy can see them too. I can't really see Supervisor Uzuki having any interest in flowers. <sighs> Listen. You need to understand how the world works. For humans to live, we have to conquer, and destroy, and eat other organisms. That's the most basic function of an organic being. I'm sorry, Xi'an, but there's no point to what you're doing. But that's not true! When pretty flowers are in bloom, they make everyone feel happier. Even my daddy. I wouldn't bet on that. Even Feb said so. And that's why I planted them here. Huh. <laughs> I don't get it, but if you say so... my day. <laughs> well, what do you want me to do? Water the flowers there. Oh, and this one too. Not like that. You have to be more careful. Otherwise you'll hurt them. How can I hurt them? They're just flowers. No, here. Give it to me. I'll show you how. Wow, so this is Cosmos' basic theory? Hmm, these are some excellent calculations. Well, how about it? 
Is it possible to fix Cosmos? It's me. What? With this data you brought back, and the newly designed body, it is possible to restore her to her original form. Then... But even so, there's still too many parts we don't understand. Even if the repairs are perfect, we don't know if she'll reboot or not. She's completely different from Erde Kaiser, the field in which we specialize. Indeed. This thing doesn't even transform, much less combine. What the... That's not the problem! Did you say something? Oh, uh, nothing. Anyway, we'll do what we can. <laughs> After all, I don't get many chances to play around with this baby. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Chief, are you sure about this? If we leave it up to them, they may make things even worse. Hey! I heard that, you! When it comes to robotics, I don't make mistakes. Sit back and leave it to me. Now, all you people here are in the way. Get out! Shoo! Why don't you try out the latest game in the lounge? We modified it a little, so I think you'll enjoy it. Really? Well, I guess it might be nice to relax a little. Let's check it out, Xion. Sounds good. I'll go with you. Wait. You stay here, assistant number two. Huh? What did you expect? You're my temporary assistant. Don't tell me you're already planning on taking a break. Right then. Let's get to it, Alan.
me to do this? That was actually pretty fun. Those two did a good job for a change. How do you feel? Do you feel relaxed? Yes, I'm sorry. I guess I've been worrying everyone. Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? When stuff happens, don't hesitate to tell us. Thanks. I'm gonna go rest a bit in my room. If anything happens, give me a call. Sure thing. Professor, I finished attaching the exterior. Okay, we're going to try rebooting her. Assistant number two! Yeah, yeah. Come on, Cosmos. It's time to wake up. It didn't work! Uh, that's strange. With the data she brought back, the core repair should be flawless. Where could the problem be? Professor, it's gotta be that! Oh yeah, <laughs> that! Love and courage. Yeah, love and courage! No, I'm pretty sure the problem lies with you two. Hey, assistant number two! You yes what are you standing around for? Hurry up and bring your lady friend! I want to hear the opinion of a specialist. Hey, I'm a specialist in the same field! Do you expect me to rely on your opinions? Hurry up and call her! Fine, fine. <laughs> Professor, the reactor output is unstable. Maybe we needed those parts you had left over. Don't worry about little things like that. It's probably just a gauge malfunctioning. Just hit it! I know what is going to happen already. The coming events will bring suffering to countless lives. And it will leave a permanent scar on the universe. But I alone may have a chance to change everything. Cosmos, what would you do? Could you chastise me for being illogical? Just like you always do? Cosmos, would you abandon countless lives before you? Simply because it's the logical thing to do? Yes? It's me, Alan. Sorry, have you got a minute? Sure. What is it? Thanks. Whoa. What is it? Hurry up, I'm gonna catch cold. Uh, um, yeah, uh, I mean, uh, um, the, the professor. What about the professor? Uh, re rebooting Cosmos isn't working. And he says he wants your opinion. I see. Okay, I'll be right. What? Chief! Chief, are you all right? Chief! Where's the explosion? In Cosmos's maintenance room. What are you doing? Hurry up! Wait up, Chief! Found it. I'm an old man, for heaven's sake. 
I tell you, young people these days have no manners. Uh, Professor, violent criminals don't care about manners. did this to our Elsa! Captain, leave this to the little master and me. Just take care of Scott and the professor. Uh, 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 Damn it! How the hell did he get in here? Captain, what happened with the security? I wish I knew. The security system is just fine. A fly couldn't get into this place. It isn't anyone's fault. That guy is a monster. Out of the way. But, old man! Don't worry. I'm perfectly calm right now. Voyager, why are you here? What is your objective? your assistance in defeating the enemy unit. Right. I understand. Come on, Cosmos. Acknowledged. Engaging with maximum attack force.
Super Drive!
How much longer do you intend to keep doing this? Do you really think this will satisfy your never-ending thirst for power? Answer me! Eric! Now do you think that you really won this? This is Checkmate. How long are you planning to play with them? You're taking too long. Return. If she has awakened, then we must devise our next move. later at a more appropriate time. Farewell for now. Goodbye, Jan Sauer. <laughs> It appears that I have caused you undue emotional stress while my functions were suspended. I must apologize. You should. I was really worried about you. I'm so glad you're all right, Cosmos. Xion. Chief? Xion. Mizrahi? Don't you think waves resemble the relationships between people? They ebb and flow, as if feeling the distance between them, and repeat that process eternally. Hmm. 
Young lady, do you love your father? What? Parents and children, too, could be said to be like waves. Professor Mizrahi, what was your relationship to my father? What good will knowing that do? I don't think knowing that will be of any benefit to you now. I... Words can completely change their meaning depending on the mind of the listener. They can change into good ones or into bad. Some words cannot be conveyed. What one thinks is good will not always lead to good results. You're a scientist too, then you should understand. I still want to know, without knowing. How do I know where I stand? That man's words are merely shackles. That man? He is a man possessed by his own narrow-minded ego. He brings suffering to all those he comes into contact with. I don't want to see your sad face. Who are you talking about? I don't know anyone like... I promised Sakura. I would make a world in which all wills that have yet to be born can live in happiness. I want you to live in a world like that too. That is my wish. Professor Mizrahi... Don't do anything you don't want to. Be true to your feelings. Do that, and she will answer your call. Cosmos? Jin! Uh, I... You fainted from exhaustion. You really should rest more. Or you just refuse to hear advice from a quack? I'm sorry. I'll be more careful. Jin, I... I met Dad. I see. Aren't you gonna ask what we talked about? I don't think I need to. I doubt you were able to have much of a conversation with him. You wouldn't be able to keep yourself composed enough for that. You're being mean. <sighs> organization had vessels of anima. From what Professor Mizrahi said, they're needed to activate the Zohar. If we can stop their experiment, we can prevent Milsha's space-time anomaly. And if we're able to do that... We might have a chance to save Mother and the others. Also, if we can use the vessels of anima, we might be able to get the energy needed to return to our original world. We might also be able to find out what Professor Mizrahi was really trying to do. That may indeed be possible, but the risk is too great. But we don't know what's going to happen to us either way. Don't try to stop me. This is a past I don't want. I'm going to change it. Shion, you need your past to be who you are now. Yes, that could work. If we had vessels of anima, we might be able to use that energy to return to our original time. We could come under attack at any time. Just being able to use the ES would benefit us. 
But the vessels are stored inside Labyrinthos. I don't think they'll let us inside that easily. We have forged IDs. If we use them well, getting inside will be easy. At any rate, our presence here is causing an expanding distortion throughout the entire universe. It could lead to not only us disappearing, but the destruction of the universe itself. Gotcha! Get yourselves ready to infiltrate the place! The Third Descent Operation, the Milshin Conflict, is gonna take place in a few days! We have to hurry! Oh...